thanks to coronavirus, everything is shut down. So the Fort Worth livestock shows that was so exciting to see, nothing's open. And we're right next door to a cowboy church. I don't know if it's a real church, but they do um, the whole barrel, rodeo, the rodeo barrel, stuff like barrel every day. Racing. It's free that you can yep. just go in. Every single day. It's right next to our RV park. Um, and that was, they think they closed it the day we got here. Yeah. So, Natalie's <laughs> very upset about that. I am. This is such, such a long way to come for something and everything I mean, to be closed. We understand why they closed it, obviously. I'm not blaming them. I'm yeah. just saying that the situation is a bit annoying because we came here almost purposely for that um, and for the Fort Worth stockyard and they're both closed so um, we are however going somewhere where we don't believe there will be anyone and it should be quite interesting yeah and the dog scare run yeah so everyone wins it's like the railway thing again and Lawrence is happy because we're getting a whatever burger whatever burger is yeah. it a whatever burger <laughs> Whatever burger. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> whatever burger, which we don't think we've ever had. It's just a fast food joint. I don't think I've ever had it. Um, although I think I may have had it in an airport once. Well, Jim wanted us to do like a comparison between In and Out, whatever, and yeah, something else. Something else. So, said, no, because we'll just get fat. We're trying to eat local. No, we can. He wants us to do it in one episode, which we're not <laughs> going to do. I mean, I would be more than happy to do that. <laughs> yes. But we're not going to do it in one episode. So we should try and eat one of those burgers over the next three weeks. Okay. And compare them. We'll try and compare. But the problem is comparing that stuff doesn't count because you have to be really hungry. If I have the worst burger in the world when I'm really hungry, it's the best burger. It's the best world. burger I've ever had. It's like have you seen Eddie Murphy raw when he has a cracker. It's like that. It's the best goddamn cracker I've ever had. <laughs> well, I don't um, even like burgers, so I think I'm void from this competition. <laughs> that's fine. You can have something different. I'm sure there's other people that don't like burgers too. So anyway, let's go eat. Yes. T-shirt matches their company colours. There you go. They probably thought I worked it. Right. Here is your taco. Thank you. Let's have a look at your whatever burger. Okay, it's a chicken barbecue chicken sandwich. Aww. Day. Until further notice. Yeah. So it's not really essential to some, it is to us. But Lawrence's headset died on the Xbox last night. So we can't talk to our friends. And that's the only way we get social interaction is on the Xbox in the evenings. So we are looking for a new headset. Where to next, Lawrence? Guess we'll try Walmart. Okay. On the hunt for headphones, a thrilling episode brought to you by Brazen Brits. <laughs> Bit busy here. Yeah. yeah. Busier than Costco. Well, Costco car park was busy as well, and then there was no one inside. True, true. So, Lawrence managed to find some. They're not the ones that he wanted at all, but they'll do for now. They will do for now. Hopefully if we can get hold of the Turtle Beach support, we can just fix his old ones and have these as like a backup. But So finding for anyone who doesn't play video games, I'm sure you know someone and it's a very important thing to get the right headset. You have to have wireless, there has to be a surround sound. 
there's all these little things that you have to think about and this doesn't do everything I want it to do but it will do for now <laughs> and then uh, yeah but the problem is the ones I want are from places like GameStop who said they were open with limited hours and they are not so uh, so we've just settled with this I don't want to go around too many places because we're meant to be in quarantine so well not quarantine lockdown Hope they work. So now we're going to go treat the dogs. We've been told a million times that we have to go see the Texas State Blue Bonnets. We were going to see them in San Antonio, but we ran out of time. We decided to do the river walk and the missions instead. So we have found some locally here in where are we? Arlington, which is weird. It's, I keep thinking. Because there is an Arlington near where we are in, in DC. Virginia. Virginia or DC? No, it's in DC. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there's an Arlington here as well between Fort Worth and Dallas. Um, and apparently that's where there are some blue bonnets. So. But the problem we have. Oh, when you went through a red light. <laughs> See, you're paying attention. Uh, the problem we have is it, if it's too busy, we're not going to go, but the dogs def desperately need to need a run. So um, hopefully this is going to be quiet. It's really quite late in the day now, so hopefully everyone will have gone tied out their kids so there won't be anyone around and we're not going to die. We're just going to be full of germs instead. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we'll just lie soul the blue bonnets on our way through. <laughs> Bonnet Park in Ennis, Texas today. This was rated the second best place to come and see blue bonnets in the wild. So blue bonnets are the state flower of Texas. Yep. Um, I think, what was it, 1901 or something it was named that. And uh, they're very pretty. Um, most people think they're only blue, or some people think they're blue and white, but actually they can be blue, white, and pink, I believe. Pink, purple, and white, yeah. Pink, purple, something like that, yeah. So um, so most of them here are blue. There was a few other ones around that we saw. There's none here. Um, <laughs> But it's very nice. I was a little bit worried because we went to see them somewhere else in Fort Worth and there was nothing there because they had just mowed, which was strange. Um, but it was a very nicely mowed um, park like in, a, in Fort Worth. Uh, and then Natalie said, no, I need to go and see these. And it's getting late and, uh, and we're actually moving tomorrow, but it's getting late and Natalie said, oh, here's another place we can go to, which is about an hour out. And so I was like, I don't really want to drive for two hours, an hour there and an hour back just to go and see some blue flowers. But actually I'm glad we did. The drive was really nice and yeah, it's very pretty here. It is, it's beautiful. I just wish we'd brought our barbecue stuff so that we could have a barbecue. There's barbecues here you can yeah. you can set up and use and everything. So, um, and there's no one here. Everyone is being very respectful of the, uh, what is it, the social distancing. So mm. yeah, anyway, let's go home, have some dinner. <laughs>